Hey everyone, Jason60 here again, and we are back with another video, and this one is actually about Minecraft and the 1.9 beta edition updates on it. So what we, so what is going on actually here is um, I got you know I'm testing out some of the things on here, and I found some interesting bugs and glitches that are in it. Now, all the ones except for this very first one, which I'll tell you about, have been are. are new for the 16 uh, 16w04 alpha uh, beta edition so that's the latest one uh, this very first one is from the 16w03 alpha uh, and that was the only interesting one I could find in that one there was another one where if you put an armor stand inside of the boat it would the armor stand would rapidly spin around but unfortunately I could not reproduce that so uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and get started with it and jump right on in with this first glitch. Alright, now this first one involves a slime block and a boat, so you place the boat down, you hop in the boat, and you're prepared 50 to 60 blocks up in the air. Whee! Alright, now, you do not lose any momentum. You keep going the same rate, 50 to 60 blocks, every single bounce. And you still have full control of the boat, so you could spin around and do other things with it. Uh, now, this uh, particular one was patched up in the 16W03A edition. Or, sorry, it was patched in the 16W04 edition of the beta. So, that's completely patched up and fixed unfortunately because you can really do some fun stuff in it like this one which is a little speed up of me spinning around and around because you still have full control of the boat you can you know move it forward if you want as if you were still in water so yeah that's just a little quick speed up of me playing around in there uh, but the next one probably has to do with why you're still able to bounce and uh, spin around as if you could no matter what. Alright, still in the boat, so we're now actually propelling ourselves, and I kind of sped this up a little bit because for some reason it lagged out right there, I'm not too sure why. Uh, but you are actually moving at the same speed as you would if you were in the water. So, something about the physics of it, how it's, the boat's not actually defining uh, you know, where you're at or, and stuff like that is could be the reason for it. And here's just me showing that it can be done with any of these boats and everything else like that. So it doesn't matter which boat you're in, you're still going to do it. Uh, they've patched something up in this update, this uh, 16W04A, where the boat was actually sinking lower in the water than what it should have been. And I think that kind of has something to do with it, so they just need to fine-tune that one before releasing the, uh, the 1.9 update. Okay, so... Right here is an interesting one. So the weakness potion has been buffed. All right, and normally you would lose a half a point of damage per swing for the weakness. Now with the standard weakness, you lose four points. So a standard wooden sword would deal no damage. A wooden and golden sword, actually. So this is just showing that uh, you can still attack with a weakness. Uh, but the thing is, is that I actually enhance this one. So instead of having minus 4 damage, I'm actually should be around minus 240. The thing is that the previous sword was enchanted with uh, sharpness 1. This diamond sword, which is a 7 attack, cannot do anything. Of course, this is an unenchanted one. The trick is that the your swords being enchanted or unenchanted makes a difference. So, uh, this enchanted sword has an attack damage of 5. It should, uh, with the potion, uh, this uh, weakness effect I have on me, it should not be doing any damage at all. So this is something they need to fine tune with this particular one as well. And the last one, in creative mode. Y you know you're supposed to get infinite amount of arrows. Well, with these new tipped or enchanted arrows, I've, I'm not really too sure which. I think it's they're tipped. But anyway. Um, they it run out. You can you know go through the stack as you saw. I'm down to 53. 
I grabbed a couple spectral arrows, which just illuminate your monsters or other players. So you can see them even through blocks, which is quite interesting and they're going to be neat when in the actual PvP gameplay. Um, but yeah, you know, the bow does uh, does this, and it does. The regular arrows work just fine. They work as intended. See, look at those excellent archery shots. And yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, look at those archery shots. Yep. Yeah. Yep, nailed them first try. But yeah, uh, so that's something that we're not sure if they're fine tuning. Now, the Infinity Bow does behave that same way, so Infinity Bow does not let those tipped arrows uh, continue to go on. But this is all the interesting ones I found for the beta so far, and I've checked and nothing else seems to work out the same way. So. That's the only interesting ones thus far, so we'll have to see on the next come around. Uh, and yeah, so let me know if you guys like this video, if you've actually played around with the beta, if you've done any of this or you know messed up anything else. You know, leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to talk with you about it. Well yeah, guys, until next time, as always, take it easy now.